Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a character build centered around one of my other uh, favorite characters from Fallout New Vegas. This one is going to be Craig Boone. Now, for those of you guys who don't know who Craig Boone is, uh, he is one of the uh, companions that you can obtain and kind of have you join you throughout your uh, endeavors in the wasteland in Fallout New Vegas. Um, a little bit about his backstory. Uh, number one, his wife is dead, as I'm sure all of you guys know. It's kind of like the little meme that's associated with him. Anyways, uh, Boone used to be part of the uh, the first recon for the uh, the New California Republic. And uh, honestly, I forget, to be honest, but uh, one thing led to another, and his wife got kidnapped by the Legion, and she was made a slave, and I think... Uh, what happened, like, uh, they were treating her so poorly, and when Boone eventually found her, he, uh, literally had no other choice but just to shoot his wife and put her out of, uh, her misery, so, um... The uh, the thing that goes along with that, though, is Boone realized that somebody sold his wife into slavery with the Legion, and he tasks you, the courier, with finding out who did it and letting him know. That, of course, uh, leads you to end up uh, killing the, uh, what is like, the manager of the uh, of the Novak Hotel, and uh, then Boone's kind of prophecy is fulfilled or whatever, but he still goes around telling everybody that his wife is dead. So, um, yeah, kind of a mean character here, but there's honestly a lot to work with uh, regarding, you know, builds and weapons, stuff like that, and as you guys can already tell, I've kind of got the uh, the outfit down to a T. So, let's start with that, actually. Um, actually, the first thing I could talk about is where I am. Uh, this is Wavy Willards. I figured that since Boone uh, assassinates the uh, the hotel manager from the mouth of the T-Rex uh, statue in Novak, this would be a pretty great place to start this off, as this is the closest thing we can get to a giant T-Rex in Fallout 76. So yeah, um, the outfit that I'm wearing, I had to kind of mix and match a lot, but... I'm wearing the uh, the regular t-shirt and jeans under armor. Uh, Boone typically wears kind of like a tan t-shirt with like military pants, but I couldn't really find anything like that, uh, at least in stuff that I own. So this was going to be the closest thing. Um, and then the uh, on the legs, I have leather armor on. That was A, just to kind of add a little bit more to his legs, and I don't really like how the jeans were rolled up there, so that kind of masks it a little bit. And I also have the chame chameleon mutation on, so uh, if I didn't have those on, I'd be invisible right now standing still. Uh, I put the patrolman sunglasses on, along with the, I think it's the maroon military beret. Um, the maroon military beret, I believe, is the only atomic shop thing that I'm wearing right now, so uh, there are other berets you can get that aren't atomic shop. You can kind of, like, you know, have them as placeholders, but uh, wait until these come back in the atomic shop if you're looking for those uh, those military berets. And then I also have patrolman sunglasses on, and I shaved my head and cut my beard so that I could look just like Craig. Um, yeah, that's the outfit. The weapon that I'm using is just going to be my hunting rifle. Uh, I kind of already uniquely have this name, the Spirit of the Mojave, and it kind of works out for, uh, for boots. But this is just a quad bullets explode hunting rifle, uh, and I'm just using regular 308 for this. Um, let's see, the next thing I'm going to talk about, though, is going to be the perks for the, uh, the Boone build. Over here in strength, nothing really important. Excuse me, just for my bandolier traveling pharmacy strong back that helps with, you know, weights, stuff like that. Over here in Perception, I have the typical maxed out uh, rifleman perks. I got Tank Killer, uh, all nine rifleman points, uh, you know, Master Rifleman, Expert, whatever. And I also have Concentrated Fire on to make sure that I'm hitting headshots. Over here in Endurance, I have Life Giver on, just kind of a, a no-brainer. And then I also have Nocturnal Fortitude on. Uh, Boone is on the night shift at the, uh, the Novak Hotel, so he is typically up during the night. So he might as well uh, gain plus 40 to his max health between those hours. Over here in Charisma, I have Tenderizer on, just to help a little bit with damage, uh, and I also have Bodyguards on, because uh, Bodyguards, you know, kind of related to the uh, the companion uh, aspect of the whole Fallout series, you know, just having somebody with you. And I figure this would, this would help me out a little bit, even though I'm not really going to be having any teammates. So, uh, over here in Intelligence, I have Demolition Expert on, uh, First Aid and Batteries included. Those are, again, going to be similar to Strength, where it's just kind of working with my weights and make sure I'm doing the right damage, stuff like that. Over here in Agility, though, uh, Action Boy, just making sure my stuff regenerates faster. And then Covert Operative, uh, obviously Boone is a sniper, so you're going to want to have a perk that makes sure that your range attacks do an additional 50% uh, sneak attack damage. And then over here in Luck, I have Class Freak, Starch Jeans, and Bloody Mess. Uh, Bloody Mess, I guess, is the only relevant one, doing 50% bonus damage. And then I also have Grim Reaper Spirit. You know, Boone is very closely associated with the death, so I figured I'd have that one on there. Uh, and then I also have Psychopath on, because Boone did kind of lose it a little bit when uh, his wife got taken, and when he had to kill his own wife. So, uh, I figured the, all these perks really kind of came together to make a pretty good Boone build. So, um... 
Obviously, I'm here at Wavy Willards, but I don't think this would be a really good place. Uh, what I was thinking was, the closest thing we can find to, you know, like, end, or sorry, Legion, Slavers, whatever, is probably going to be, like, Blood Eagles, something like that. So let's go to a Blood Eagle camp and see... Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do? We're going to go to the Crosshair up here, and I'm going to try my best to uh, do this from, I guess, like, an angle, something like that. So I'm going to switch over my controllers really quick so I can aim, and uh, let's get into this. And we should be good. Okay, hopefully uh, that didn't really upset the stream at all. Hope to, hope to God it didn't. Oh my God! And I walked way too close in. Okay, let's see. You know I gotta get my controller fixed because this is really bothering me. Let's see. All right, I gotta back up a little bit. This <laughs> I did not mean to walk right into that camp. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go over here and see. Uh, nope. I keep feeling like I'm playing like Red Dead or something. All right, range sneak attacks. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. That one, that one hit him most definitely. That was a headshot. Even through all those leaves, looks like someone just exploded themselves over there. That's kind of funny. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, sit down, mongrel. <laughs> this is just too good. All right, let's see if I can get this guy up here. Hold on. Can I get a shot on him? Where is he? No. How did I miss that? I must have hit something. Oh, man, Boone. First Recon really did not teach you well, did they? There we go. There we go. And now he is down for the count. All right, come on, Blood Eagle wretch. Boom, there we go. That's a hit right there. Only doing 44 damage, though. Not what we want to see from an explosive quad, but, you know, it's a hunting rifle. There oh, my God! Holy crap, scared the hell out of me. Get away from me. I can't even see anymore. I can't even use vats anymore. He just hit me in the face with a spike baseball bat. Should be dead. Yeah, well, now you're dead, so how'd that feel? All right. Yeah, it says I'm talking, so we should be okay. Um, whoa. Easy there, partner. I'm absolutely banking these shots. Just joking. I think banking is the opposite of missing, so <laughs> I am definitely not banking these shots. Let's see. Come on. There we go. That was a good one. That was not a good one. That was a good one. Okay. Anybody else here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well, let's give ourselves uh, one more place to go, and maybe I can be just a little bit more stealthy when we're checking this out. So let's see. What's a good one? The ammo dump. Nah. Are there any smaller ones? Seneca Gang Camp? No, I'm okay with that. Skullbone Vantage. Well, Vantage sounds very similar to a, a sniper term, so I guess uh, that'll work out. Let me make sure my volume's all set on this. Oh, yeah, we are. We are golden. All right, folks. Sorry, I'm just making sure that my audio is not cutting out and you guys aren't, like, here in silence. So um, I think my flashlight is off. There we go. Okay, let's see what we can do here. There's this lady up here. Come on, baby. Wow, yeah. Really great range sneak attack there. What are you doing? Oh, it's holding the missile launcher. Alright, well, that's good. Got the missile launcher out of the way. Uh, I do not have my chameleon perks on because I'm not wearing my armor. So these guys are going to see me very easily. Although not him. Oh, no. Oh, God. I thought that guy had a knife. Like, why are you going to use power armor with a knife? Oh, man. Well, that's what I get for not wearing any of my armor. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can take that guy out uh, from a distance here. This is going to be a little bit of an actual challenge because uh, these guys can do some serious damage to me considering that I am practically naked. Uh, all right. Let's see. This guy's caped around. Can I shoot him in the toe? Yes, I can. <laughs> ah, there you go. All right, let me see if I can just keep doing enough damage to him. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, literally, it's like I'm running into a battlefield naked. Like, uh, I don't even know what to do. All right, let me take out this little straggler. Oh, I thought he was going to walk right there. That's annoying. Let's see. Just blew off a chunk of your head. How are you still standing? There we go. All right, come on. Where's the boss around here? Yeah, come up with your ski sword. Let me know what that does. Because you're not even going to make it here. 
It's close, but you know, no no eggs. So, oh my God, this guy's probably gonna kill me. Quick scope. Oh, wait. Quick scope. There we go. Man, if only that happened in Call of Duty. Actually, I think it does with the new like explosive rounds. Oh man, he kind of scared me a little bit there. All right, well. Looks like that's a Skullbone Vantage. This place really wasn't that difficult. Ooh, a Nuka-Cola. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. All right. Fo ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a bunch of them here. All right. Well, folks, that's all I got for you today. Uh, if you didn't know, though, my wife is dead, of course. Bruh. Bad dog. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a nice little joke there. You know, my wife is dead. The whole thing that is usually associated with Boone. Um, if for any reason there was uh, any, like, volume or audio issue, stuff like that, I'm just kind of working on um, getting a new controller, kind of setting up stuff like that. It's just very difficult. One of my controllers uh, is just absolutely perfect for making videos, but uh, I can't aim with it. And the other one I have uh, works totally fine, but audio-wise, I feel like it's not as good compared to the other one. So, sorry for jumping around a little bit there, but uh, honestly, it's a pretty casual build. Uh, you know, I'm kind of, uh, kind of making a meme build here, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoy stuff like this, uh, I would definitely suggest going and checking out my Joshua Graham bi uh, video. Uh, a little bit more professional than this one was. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I kind of threw this one together, and uh, obviously I was planning it for a little bit, but it works out pretty well. And uh, with all that being said, my wife is dead. No, nah, I'm just kidding. My wife is dead. My wife is dead. No, nap. That's not what you're supposed to say. It's... No, my wife is dead. Guys, okay, I, I think i got to end the video here because I just... Uh, my wife is dead.